So my advice to, to what you can do to make sure that you can get the best out of your career is to make sure that you're authentic, to bring your real self to work all of the time and to put your hand up. And when you, if there are opportunities there, the things that you can see that you want to do and want to be part of, make sure that people are aware that you are interested. I would also recommend looking for mentors, looking at role models. If it's somebody that you find inspirational, then approach them. Let them know that you would really love to have a conversation or a coffee with them to find out how they achieved their aspirations and what they did and what their goals were for their career. So I think really it's about what do you want to do? What do you want to achieve in your career? And working with your employer to make sure that there is the opportunity to do that and also that you get the support to be able to make sure that you can achieve that. The main thing I'd say, and this is, isn't just for, for women, I think it's in general, I think it's finding and surrounding yourself with strong, like-minded people, um, finding a supportive employer that you can see representation in for you specifically, depending on your background. Um, I think that first and foremost, you've, you've got to work hard, you've got to be committed, show loyalty and be confident and just don't let anyone ever tell you no and that you can't do something because you can and the sky's the limit so go for it. My advice would be firstly to never stop learning, be proactive when it comes to your career development, no one cares about your career as much as you do so really take control of it and seek out opportunities, don't just wait for those opportunities to come to you. And finally, find a supportive employer who is going to champion you, who's going to give you the work life balance that you need and where you can show up as your true authentic self. My advice would be stick with it. If you have a plan of what you want to do, stick with it and never be afraid to say what it is that you want to do. Um, you only get somewhere if you say that that's what you want to do. Um, so stick with it, accept that there'll be some days which you'll think I'm never going to get there. But so long as you you, you keep the, the pressure on and pressure on yourself and do all you can do, reach out, you know, put your hand up to do things, you will get there. <laughs> I would encourage every woman who is looking to progress their career to work hard and just be yourself. Focus on the areas of your job that make you the happiest. I'm motivated by others' success, so I identified this early in my life and knew that I would be a strong leader. I went after leadership opportunities. So go after what you want. Don't be afraid to be yourself. And don't forget, the worst thing that can happen is you'll get a no. So try and try again. To be confident, make yourself heard, and don't discount yourself before you've tried. Surround yourself with positive female role models and an environment in which you are encouraged to develop and grow. The best advice I'd give is just to be very open and honest about your situation and what's going to work best for you. So, you know, naturally things are going to change at different stages of your life and your circumstances may change um, in terms of what you require from your employer. So I think it is really important to talk to your seniors explain situations, work out what's best for you in terms of which working pattern. Um, and hopefully they will be flexible and responsive um, if they're a supportive employer. And if for any reason they're not, then I think that's something that you really do need to consider because I think employers are willing to be more flexible now. Um, and certainly you need to do what's best for you and really stand by that to make yourself happy and make sure you do well in your role and your life.